In this video, we're going to look at how we can add a file to our S3 bucket. We're going to look at four different ways. First, we're going to simply upload a file. Second, we're going to upload a file, but we're going to specify the file name. Third, we're going to look at how we can upload a file using the system.io.stream, so if you wanted to upload a file from a database. And the third, we're going to specify advanced options. Okay, so let's start by adding another controller. So we're going to call this public async task, have a return type of an I action result, and we're going to call this add file. We're going to pass in from the route, from the request, our bucket name that we want to put the file. So we're going to say from route string bucket name. We're going to use the await keyword and we're going to call out to our service. We're going to say upload file async and we'll pass the bucket name into that method as well. If everything is successful, we'll return OK. We'll add a couple of decorators up top here, so we'll say that this is a post, so we'll add HTTP post. And we're also going to add our route. So how are we going to hit this endpoint? So we'll say add file, and we'll also say that we'll want to pass in the bucket name as well. Okay, so let's head along to our is3 service and create our upload file async method. So following on from our previous lesson where we created the bucket, we're now going to add the code necessary to add the file. So we're going to create a couple of uh, fields at the top here. So I'm just going to copy and paste these. So we're going to have the file path. This is going to be the file path where our file that we want to upload to our S3 bucket is stored. We're going to do three types of uploads here. We're going to upload a file um, just directly with the file name from this file path, so the S3 test file. Then we're going to upload, but also give it a key. So it's going to upload with the key, which is this upload with key name here. Then we're going to upload from a type of system.io. So if you're reading or uploading from a database, and we're going to use this as our name. And we're also going to do some advanced options as well. So if you want to select different storage class, um, the size of the file and stuff like that. So we've given all different names so that we can see each upload happen inside our S3 bucket. So let's create a method, public async task. And we'll say upload file async is our method name. We'll pass in that bucket name that we created before. And we'll say try. And we are going to say var file transfer utility. There it is. And we'll pass it in the client as well. File transfer utility is really cool. It's a class that's um, from the S3 SDK that we downloaded. Let's go and have a quick look. And this allows us to do all sorts of things like download, um, upload different files and stuff like that. So this is what we're going to use for our uploading. Okay, so let's look at option one first. We're going to say await file transfer utility dot upload async and we'll pass it in the file path and also the bucket name that we want to upload our file to. Cool, so that's that's going to grab the file from our file path and upload it with the file name that we have given it. Option two. We're going to specify the file name that we want. So let's say await. File transfer utility dot upload again, and we're going to give it that file path, the bucket name, and also the name that we want to call this file. So upload with key name, the first one up here. Option three. 
this is going to upload from the type system.io.stream. So we're going to wrap this into using because it's I disposable. File to upload. Equals new file stream. And we'll pass in the file path. And file mode open. File access as read. Close that off. Curly braces. And we'll say a white file transfer utility. Dot upload async. And we'll pass in the file to upload. Bucket name. File stream upload. And that file stream upload is our second constant up here. Great, let's look at the final option, option four. And this is specifying advanced settings. So let's say var file transfer utility request equals new transfer utility upload request and we're going to say bucket name equals bucket name file path equals file path and now here's some of the advanced options that we can select so storage class so we can say s3 and you can see here we've got different storage options I'll put on screen the link that you can go to that explains each of these different storage class and when to use them for now we're just going to say st standard part size 629 one four five six which is six megabytes and canned ACL just put a comma on the end of that S3 so this depends on like what control you have on the file that you're uploading so we're going to say no ACL, which says that only gets full control, no one else has access rights to this file. Let's close that off. And let's also add some metadata to our request. File transfer request dot metadata dot add. We're going to say param1 value1. In file transfer request dot metadata dot add param to value two. So this is allowing us to add metadata to our file. And we'll have a look once we upload it, we'll have a look at these values so you can see that where they're set. So now let's finally upload the file that we've created. So file upload async and we're going to send the file transfer request that we just created above and that will be the final one okay so sometimes it's worth catching the Amazon exceptions to easily see what's gone wrong so let's just copy and paste a couple of these exceptions here we've got the Amazon s3 exception and we've also got the classic catch-all exception and this is really hand handy when debugging to just make sure you easily capture what's gone wrong I'm also going to add the key to this upload as well so that we have a separate file name which is the advanced upload that we created above okay so let's put this task upload file async into our interface like that, save that, head back to our controller, right that's all looking good, save, build,
build succeeded. Let's run that. Just going to grab the port number there. Copy and paste that. So we've got our API, S3 bucket, add file, and our bucket name that we've created in S3. If we just head along to S3, you can see that YouTube video test is the bucket name that we've created, and there's nothing in there at the moment. So let's run that. And we've got a status of 200 back. Let's refresh our bucket. And we've got all the different files that we've created. So first of all, we've got the file which we didn't change the file name, which is S3 test file, which was our original name. We've then, then got the second file, which is upload with key name. So we've changed the file name um, as we've uploaded it. We've uploaded the file by stream. And then we've also uploaded with the advanced options. And you can see these when you head into advanced options, and then you can look at the different options that you can set, like such as storage class, standard, and under the properties tab, we've got the storage class also in here, which we can see what storage class we selected, and also the metadata. And this is where we set the parameters, value one and value two. So you can set metadata as part of the advanced request. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with all my latest YouTube tutorials.